Hey, Bridget, how you doing? My name is Leo. Uh, I actually contacted your office, uh, let them know that I help local roofing companies in Louisville, Kentucky, and I was just reaching out to give you a custom website audit with a few tips and tricks on things that you can do to help increase your online presence. Um, I know you're probably wondering why, why I'm making this video and what I get out of it. Uh, well, it's simple. I have found I found out that with working with so many local businesses, a lot of the times the owners are so busy with their customers and employees that they don't have a lot of time to either learn SEO, which is search engine optimization, or they just don't want to do it, um, which is totally fine. That's why I have expertise in SEO and website building and ranking, and that's why I'm reaching out to you. Um, because you are actually on the third page, uh, close to the top of the third page. So uh, you can actually imp implement these changes that I'm about to show you. And you can get over to that second page and hopefully work up to that first page. Because at the end of the day, that first page is where you want to be. 75% of searchers are going to choose something from up here. Um, this is a local map pack. And this is what people think is the most trusted sites, uh, but they're not. They are the best SEO sites. So I'm going to show you a couple things on here that's really going to separate you from the competition. Okay. So we're going to go over content, backlinks, and citations today. I know you're super busy, Bridget, so I'm not going to take up much of your time. So the first thing I noticed about your page is your call to action button right here. I love it. It's up top. It's right where people can see it. You know, sometimes people just need emergency roof repair and they're trying to come get to the site and find a phone number. Uh, other people like to scroll through your content and see your jobs that you've done and things that you've done in the community. So looking at this first page off top, I see how big this bar is. So I know this page isn't very long. Uh, this first home page needs to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on it. Um, what Google does is Google sends out bots and they crawl all over the sites and they look for keywords in all of your content and content's just the words on the page. Uh, the more content you have, the more they crawl. So the thing is you need command content on this home page with keywords embedded in it. And that's something else I'll show you. Um, I notice, notice this too. See how your tags come up for these pictures. These pictures are saved. So when Google's bots crawl these sites, they don't see this beautiful house right here and the beautiful work being done, church, sorry. Um, they see Copper Slate Job. That needs to be Louisville, Kentucky Roofing or Louisville, Kentucky Roofers or Roofing Louisville, Kentucky. That'll geotag each one of these photos for you and that'll help you be seen even more. Because like I said, Google is searching this wouldn't be bad if it said roof repair Louisville, Kentucky, um, because again, keywords will I'll go over with you in just a moment. Now, these back pages here, you're missing opportunities for more pages. These roofing types, you could have pages for each one of these and add 500 to 750 words of contents with um, images on that page as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you could have nine more pages here. Google, like I said, content is king. Google loves more pages. They love more content, more things that their bots can can look over and, and go through to nitpick little things that helps you edge up. It's almost like a point system. Um, you've got 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. Boom, you get a point. You got extra pages with five to 750 words on it. Boom, extra points. You've got your photos saved correctly. Boom, extra points. And you start accumulating all these points and then you start out, start out ranking your competition. Now, a lot of the, I'm going to tell you now, I've looked at many, many, many businesses and there's not very many that has SEO. So um, again, SEO is search engine optimization. It's I'm trained in knowing how to rank these websites. So I know what to look for. And a lot of these companies are lacking these services. So that tells me, someone has someone good at SEO, they can definitely move up the ranks. 
I know the problem with that is a lot of times people don't know who the expert is and who to hire. But at the end of the day, my goal is to educate, to teach, and to help. So I like to send out this free custom website audit. That way, you know, I know what I'm talking about. And at the end of the day, you can do this stuff yourself, apply it to your website. You never have to talk to me again and you'll see these results for free. But if it's something that you don't have time to do or just don't, not interested in it, you can definitely give me a shout and I can help you out. Now, this is your number one competitor right here. Uh, these were the guys right here on the number one spot on the map pack. And... Their site doesn't look bad, but as you see, there's no content here either. Um, now, see how they've got these? These are the missed opportunities that you had for all of the services that you provide. You can have pages for all of them, but they missed a the bar again with not having the right amount of content on here. Now, you probably ask yourself, how's these people outranking you? They're on the first page, and their website looks like this. Minimal content, not a lot of images. Um, I'm going to show you. I have this web crawler tool that I use, and what it does is I put the website in, and it tells me everything on their page in detail. It breaks everything down, so it lets me see the strength of their site, the trust of their site, the backlinks, the organic keywords, organic traffic, and value. Now, backlinks, if you're not familiar with backlinks, that is just a link from one website to another. So if you had Archway Roofing in a local roofing blog, that would be a good backlink to have. If that site had good URDR, then that would give you more strength. So you can also get something called citations. That's the third thing I wanted to talk to you about. Citations are things like Yellow Pages, Yex, Yelp, White Pages. They are pretty much just directories. And in those directories, you need to have your NAP entered. And NAP is name, address, phone number. So Bridget, what you would do is, I'm sure you've probably already done it, uh, but you'll go to Yelp, sign up for an account under Archway Roofing, put the address, business address, and the business phone number, and boom, you got yourself another backlink uh, and a citation. And like I said, the citation is just your information, name, address, phone number. So we've got the 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your home page, five to 750 words on your back pages. Um, I would definitely look into making all these individual pages and try to hit that 500 word mark. Um, have you ever had a friend that just talks a lot and explains every detail of the story? No, it doesn't help them get to the point faster, but the details of the story go along with the story. So that's what you need to keep in mind when you're doing these pages. It it's, can't be gibberish. It has to be command content, but it can just be details all the way down to, you know, we, we bought from this supplier. We bought the supplies and then we showed up to work out in this beautiful neighborhood. Just things that, that goes along with your roofing, your customers, things like that. Um, so other people can relate. And then we went over the backlinks, citations. Now I want to show you some keywords. Um, keywords are just phrases or words that the general public search. So Louisville Roofing. If someone's typing in Louisville Roofing, this is a buyer intent keyword. They know that in Louisville Roofing is being searched 600 times a month and the KD is 31. Um, this is stands for keyword difficulty. The, the KD, the higher the number, the longer it takes to rank. Uh, and you see that this company is in the first position, so they've had to have had this keyword in there for nine to 12 months. Now they're number one position for it. So like I was telling you about your photos, Louisville Roofing, Louisville Roofers, they seem the same, but they're not. Roofers in Louisville, roofing in Louisville, roofer in Louisville. So you see 5, 10, 15, 20, 2,600 people are, are seeing their website each month. And that, that's not even all their keywords. They have all these keywords, roofing, roofing, roofing company, roofing companies, Louisville, Kentucky, roofing companies, Louisville, Kentucky. See, these are all different word phrases. 
And I would take this one because it's a lower KD. Put that in your content. You want this to be about one keyword phrase for about every 100 to 150 words. You don't want it too spammy. You don't want to outdo it because then Google will also reject that. So it's a fine line like the Goldilocks zone. This is it's the perfect area where you need to be. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Uh, and again, that's things I can help you with, Bridget. Um, took a little longer than I wanted to on this video. I actually went through a couple extra steps for you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the content that I sent to you. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks. I hope you're able to apply these yourself. If you're not, no, no, that's no big deal at all. My cell phone number is 270-841-3600. You can reach out to me that way. Or you can just respond to this email, which I would love to hear your feedback on this video. And if you're going to be able to do these things yourself. Hope you have an awesome day, Bridget. Again, my name is Leo Arona. Thank you for your time.